Today we will discuss about light, reflection and refraction. These are the things what we are going to discuss. First let us understand what is light. It is a form of energy which enables us to see the surroundings, the, all the world. We will look into the world through our five sense organs out of which eyes are the most important. Okay, and light is a source of energy, a form of energy which is linked with our eyes and helps to see the surrounding world, all the things around us. Okay, basically speaking, there are two physical phenomena which helps us see the objects through our eyes. One is reflection, the other is refraction. Okay. So, these are the two basic phenomena in physics or to frankly speaking optics which is a branch of physics which deals with light and other areas. Okay. So, first let us see what is reflection. When we talk about light, we already told that light is a form of energy. So, energy propagates from one place to the other place. We have so many different forms of energy like sound, heat, apart from light. Okay. So, how do these things propagate? Did you ever wonder why can't we hear on the surface of moon? When somebody shouts over there, imagine yourself being on the moon, somebody shouts over there, you will not be able to hear because sound does not propagate through a vacuum. They we don't have atmosphere. Okay. But here, when somebody makes a sound, we are able to hear from a distant place because there is a source which produces that sound and there is a medium which carries that sound and that sound energy incidents on our ears creating the vibrations of the eardrum and we are able to hear. So this is the complete process. Here the medium plays an important role. It requires for the sound to propagate through and reaches. Now, do light also require a medium? That's the first question. Definitely not. We are able to see the sun, stars, and other celestial bodies at some times. Okay. That is because light is able to propagate even through vacuum. Okay. It does not require any material or mechanical medium for it to, to, to propagate. There is a controversy on earlier like what is the exact form of light energy? Does it move in the form of mechanical waves or what is its exact nature? There are some controversies. First Newton proposed one theory that okay, light will propagate in the form of particles. Okay. And each particle was called a corpuscle. So we have that corpuscle theory of light. And he explained different phenomena based on the corpuscle theory. That is the nature of light what he assumed to be. Though a contemporary of uh, Newton, okay, one more scientist, Huygen, proposed that it is not in the going in the form of wave, uh, sorry, corpuscles, but it propagates, light propagates in the form of waves. Okay. Wave is again a disturbance which is created at one place and propagates to the surrounding medium, surrounding places. Okay. Now, when Huygen proposes this theory that light propagates in the form of waves, he told that it propagates in the form of mechanical waves, which means that like sound, light also requires a material medium which propagates. Okay. And he proposed 
वन पर्टिकुलर मीडियम कॉल इधर व्हिच इज ओमनी प्रेजेंट मींस प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर इन द यूनिवर्स थ्रू द स्पेस बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ आल्सो इधर इज प्रेजेंट सो दैट इज द रीजन दैट लाइट इज बीइंग प्रोपेगेटेड दैट्स व्हाट ही प्रपोज्ड लेटर ऑन इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड दैट नो लाइट इज नॉट अ मैकेनिकल वेव इट गोस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ electromagnetic waves the concept of electromagnetic waves is again entirely different thing what is an electromagnetic wave and all those things okay but basically electromagnetic waves does not require any material medium for their propagation they need not require a medium a gaseous medium or a mechanical medium basically speaking so light is a form of energy which can propagate through a medium as well as even without a medium also okay so when we assume that light goes in the form of a, a path along which light propagates we will call that path as a ray of light okay so we cannot see the ray of light so for us to visualize it we we'll just imagine that okay light goes in the form of rays and here this is how we try to visualize a ray okay so when you consider for a source of light we have different kinds of sources of light okay some are artificial some are natural right so a tube light for example or a incandescent light this is an artificial source of light sunlight is a natural source irrespective of whether it is uh, a self giving a light a body which is illuminating itself giving out light on its own okay we will call it as a luminous body a body which does not give out light of its own we will call it as a non luminous body okay so even though natural or artificial if a body is giving a light of its own we will call it as a luminous body so a torch is a luminous body when it is switched on a candle when it is lit we'll call we can call it as a luminous body of course the sun is a natural luminous body other objects like moon other planets okay uh, these are all non luminous bodies which do not give the light of their own so what do they do how are we able to see them coming back to the same concept like we are able to see the objects because of two phenomenon one is reflection other is refraction so when you say reflection of light what is happening over there if i wanted to see an object how am i able to see an object so there is a source of light a luminous body it is giving out light of its own that light is propagating immaterial whether it is material medium or a vacuum whatever it is and that light is incident on the object when the light is incident on the object that object will absorb some part of the light okay it can transmit some part of the light and it can reflect some part of the light so basically energy so a part of the energy is getting bounced back into the same medium and this bouncing back of light into the same medium by an object this process or this phenomenon we'll call it as reflection okay assuming that a light ray is traveling like this from a source again when i say source of light we have two sources of light one is point source and there is an extended source see point source and extended source these are the two types of sources of light when i say point source i assume a candle or a torch light if i draw a candle like this
can i say it is giving out light if i say this is a candle okay do you agree that it is giving out light definitely no when i wanted to show it as a lit candle i will draw like this which indicates that yes these are the rays of light okay going in different directions so when i see this candle from a very far off point very distant point then this will appear to be like a small dot clear so when i say this is a small dot and is a source of light giving out light in all directions then i will write okay these are the light rays emanating from the point source in all possible directions okay these light rays if you see they are going in different directions if i go along this light ray i will reach some other point if i go along this direction i will go some other point as you proceed along the two different light rays these two are going away from each other okay this type of light rays we will call them as divergent light rays which are going away from each other these are divergent okay coming to an extended source let us suppose i have a tube light this is a fluorescent lamp now what will happen is this the light from this i can assume that it is going in parallel direction like this when i pass along one particular light ray i am going straight like this if i go along this straight ray i am going like this so these light rays are parallel so we we'll call it as a parallel beam of light parallel beam when i say beam it is a bundle of light rays so this is a divergent beam of light this is a parallel beam of light in case in case different light rays are passing through a single point are directed towards a single point something like this somewhere here this point okay this type of light rays we will call them as convergent convergent like c c o n this is a kind of convergent light okay so all the light rays will try to pass through a single point they will pass through or directed towards a single point this is called convergent beam of light so divergent beam of light parallel beam of light and convergent beam of light point source and extended source of light this is about the different light sources and different types of beams of light so coming with starting with the ray of light we have different beams okay if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.